So welcome to another JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at nesting our if statements. Uh, so ba basically we have an if statement inside an if statement inside an if statement. Uh, you'll understand by the time we finish this tutorial. It's a bit complicated to explain. So what we're going to have is going to have a variable and we're going to call this name and I'm going to set it to just nil like that. And then we're going to have another variable and it's going to call it uh, color and set this equal to um, whatever your favorite color is. So I'm just going to say red, just like that. Um, what else could we do? And var uh, language equals English. So we created three variables there. So we can decide what happens if the name is nil and the favorite color is red, but they don't like it, they don't speak English. Or we can decide that if they like red and they speak English, but their name is something else, then we do something else. So we're going to create an if statement. And we're going to start off by checking uh, what the name is. So if name is equal to nil, then we're going to do this. Uh, just in here, we're going to do everything uh, that will happen if their name is nil, if that made sense. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do alert. As you know, what we're going to do is we're going to do another if statement inside here. So we can do if, so you, this is called nesting, when you have an if statement inside an if statement, which can be inside an if statement. That can just go on forever. So we're going to do another if statement here. If uh, color, no, sorry, if language is equal to, um, let's have a look at it. If language is equal to English, then what we're going to do is we can, you know, we can check what color they like. So if color is equal to, oh, is equal to this red, then we're going to alert something here. And we're going to go, you are just like me. So right now if we save this and run it in Chrome, we get this pop-up, you are just like me, because uh, it, it is just like me. So the variables are the same. But if I change if name is Bob and run that, nothing has happened. Because actually, uh, this isn't like me. So what we're going to do is we're going to we can also put else here. So if their name is not nil, then we're just going to pretty much give up. And we're going to say uh, alert you have a different name. And we're not going to continue with everything else there. So we've now sorted out what will happen if they have a different name. So let's change the person's name to Bob and we'll run this in Chrome, you have a different name. And that is being called here because they are being sent this way rather than this way because they have a different name. So what we can do next is what about if their language is not English? So we can go else and alert. I don't really know how to say a different language in I don't really know how to say you speak a different language in a different language, so I'd say hola. Spanish for hello if you didn't already know. Um, so we're going to change the name back to Neil and we'll change it, the language back to, uh, to, let's say, German. I know this is Spanish and this is German, but you could, if you wanted to, do if statements to check if they're German, French, English, Portuguese, anything like that. So we can launch this in Chrome and we say, you are just like me, because we've actually made a mistake here with we put single equal sign, but we actually need to put a double equal sign. So that was just a quick a little mistake by me. Uh, see now it's saying hola. Because they are being sent down this way and not this way. So what about if their colour, uh, their favourite colour is not red. Else uh, we can say alert you are similar 
to me. And we'll change this back to English like it was before. But change the favorite color to green. And now if we save that and run that, you are similar to me. And that is because they like a different color to you, but their language and name is exactly the same as yours. So this might look a little bit complicated, but when you actually read through it, it's not that bad. So this here ends up here. You can see Notepad++ plus plus puts in your red uh, curly brackets to show you how where everything is. Uh, so we're checking if the name is the same as this here. If it is, then we're going to do this. So we're going to check if their language is English. If it is, we're going to go through this. If it's not, we're going to go through this. And then if it is, if it is English, then we're going to check if their favorite color is red. So that's going to run all of this. If it is, then we're going to do this. If it's not, then we're going to do this. And if their name uh, is not my, not the same as mine, then we're just going to go else, and we're just going to leave it there. So this kind of looks a bit complicated, but it's not actually too bad when you kind of read it and you uh, really try to understand it. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I uh, hope you found it useful. If you did, uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.